How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are coming to you today from a little city along the Gulf of Mexico called Gulfport, Mississippi. We're gonna take a little ride around Gulfport here today, take you for a little tour of the business district, pay a little visit on some old friends and see if we can make some new ones. So uh, stick around. See if there's any interesting, uh, interesting people hanging out in here. Oh, look, you never know who you're gonna find. Watching the Watchmen. What's up, man? So just in front of us here, we have the Dan M. Russell Jr. United States Courthouse. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? And here we have the Robert J. Curry Public Safety Center, Gulfport Police Department, right next door. I believe this is the fire department, Gulfport City Fire Department. Then this is the city hall. We can turn up here at the next one. All right, so this is the corner of 17th Street and 24th Ave. And uh, just stopped because Watchmen uh, stopped to take a little video or something. We have the Gulfport Water Tower up ahead there. And uh, just a little slice of life here in Gulfport, Mississippi. Look at that billboard, Pav and Broom. I've heard of that place. When we take a ride up to the old Pav and Broom. See if our friends in the jewelry business here in Gulfport are around. All right, so here's the library. So this is an interesting area here in Gulfport. Uh, you're gonna see in a minute. There are uh, a lot of nice buildings, a lot of nice offices, uh, businesses, and then uh, some other areas which are a little uh, dilapidated and in need of some TLC. We have a restaurant here. This is, business is closed down. State Farm Insurance. We have a detail shop here. Here's the old Pavin Broom. This is where the Watchman and I got our subs. Sub Mariners, not subscribers. We'll go back and see them in a minute. Then you have areas like this, just a block away from the nicest jewelry store in town. We have a pawn shop here. Watchman trying to kill himself. All right, guys, so I don't want to show up at Pav and Broom empty-handed, so we're stopping at Krispy Kreme, get them a little box of donuts. Who's got a problem with that, right? Hi. Hi, how are you? What is that? A little camera. Hi. Hi. Can I do two boxes then? Sure. Okay, can one you do, like, just mix whatever? Mix yes, please. And I'm not going to eat one of them. It's 3208. 3208, we can do that. It's something here. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. You too. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. So we're here at Pavin Broom. We're going to go inside and get our Rolexes steam cleaned and uh, drop off some donuts. So let's go see what's going on today. Thank you. Hello, hello. How are we doing? We are doing well, and we are doing even better. Donut delivery. Are those for us? Those are for you. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I think y'all have made his day. He's pretty excited. Is he cool? I'm excited. Well, he likes it when people are listening to him and he's like, wow. Oh, awesome. Yeah, cool. They Very listen. cool. Awesome. Well, let me take y'all back to him. Right on. Yeah. Hey, man. How are you? How are you doing? Cool. Good to see you. Good to see you. So this is Braden, my personal jeweler. Right. Yeah. Right. So uh, I guess you're going to need me to take it off my well, wrist, huh? Painful. We'll right on. I never take it off. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. How are we doing? There you go. All right. The inner sanctum. Happy. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Good. Good to see you. Oh, this is cool. I feel privileged. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? I guess I'll go first. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now you can tell me how uh, how I've been treating it for the past year. Yeah, I'll point out any little scratches just to make you feel good about yourself. Alright. Ready for the second one? He takes his off every night. <laughs> you sleep with his on? I do. Shower? Yeah. Shower, everything. Okay. Yeah, showers my I clean I wash it every day, so yeah, that's it shouldn't not bad. It should be uh, maybe a little better than some, but maybe not as good as others. I don't know. <laughs> that's, ooh, we missed a sticker when we originally Oh you got a sticker on yours. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. if I take it? Sure. Oh man, you ought to keep that sticker. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You've been walking around with a sticker on your watch for a year. Well, that's going to be unscratched. Well, 
it was on scratch. That, yeah, that'll be the cleanest yeah. spot. <laughs> One spot with no scratch. Wow, that was a lot oh, of sticker. Wow. Here, follow me. Sure. This is going to be our polishing room and our cleaning room. Feel free to step in. So what I like to do is light paper towel on the bottom of this. It's not normally scratching bracelets on the bottom side, but every now and then, whenever you do have the ultrasonic doing it, it can. So I like to make sure it stays protected. This is something I learned when I was in watchmaking school. I'm just adding water because it kind of evaporated, but we use deionized water in all of our ultrasonics. But we also use a cleaning solution. It's, a, it's called Galvex. It's not a secret that anyone uses it, but um, that's what we use here. It's what Rolex recommends for all their races. Yeah, we'll run these for, depending on how dirty it is, for a little while. And then after it gets a good cycle going, we'll actually take it out. And these. Braden explained to me last time we were here that would, if you don't, keep it clean dirt gets in between yes, the links and everything yes. it can make so, your that's one of the biggest things about us offering the it's not just us i think it's any authorized Rolex service center that you can go get your bracelet clean so please if you have one go get it clean the dirt gets in between the links and it's almost like a bearing having dirt in it it just starts to sand down on starts the, to wear away yeah and it prematurely in... kills your your watches wind up with a loose bracelet. loose bracelet yeah. yeah then it looks yeah. like your grandpa's bracelet yeah how everybody wears them super right. <laughs> once they come out of the ultrasonic we'll take them over to the steamer oh right there cool yeah and we'll just a little interesting bit of trivia here too uh yeah. tidbit of information Braden's actually one of the owner's sons here so i am Braden yes. is one of the owners no Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I Not yet, but uh, it's, I it's, in, it's, in, it's in the making. Yeah, he's got to earn his stripes, right? But um, so y'all's like I said, y'all's is not bad. But you see how there's all those little notches and everything for the adjustability on yep. the bracelet. That's where dirt can really easily build up. Okay. Um, so what I like to do is make sure I extend the bracelets all the way, so you will have to refit them. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. But um, and then once they're extended all the way, go through and steam again. Because it, you know, it's important to make sure it comes out as clean as you can get it. But yeah, y'all's are really clean so that's always good to see <laughs> this one's going to be bins so i made this watch has made me realize how much your wrist actually changes Swells, yeah. in diameter yeah, yeah. throughout the day yeah. you won't realize but when you're wearing one especially in the summer hot outside and you got it going and it gets hot and your wrist feels real tight any other rolexes have the same setup as the sub yeah, or so it... the sub has this i think the sea dweller has this as well and then the deep sea has a different variation of it. I think we have a deep sea in the showcase that we might be able to show that one off. So just their pro diver watches. Yeah, any of your diver watches are going to have that quickly adjustable because it's supposed to be able to go around a wetsuit and everything. Gotcha. But, um, yeah, that's that's that, very important for my lifestyle that it fits around my wetsuit when sure I go deep diving. sea diving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, All right, way. so we got them cleaned. Like All I right, said, cool. they weren't that bad. Normally we leave them for at least... You know, we we request a day just to make sure we can get them thoroughly clean. But y'all are very clean. So very cool. Hey, do All good. Very cool. And I just remember by the scratches whose bracelet is whose. Normally, I who has more scratches? Ben's does. Ben's does. <laughs> oh, there you go. At least on the bracelet, I didn't pay attention too close to the cases yet. Hey, scratches are all a part of life, right? Nothing wrong with that. No, that's exactly. When you wear it every day, it's going to get scratched no matter what you do. It's better. Otherwise, are you really? Living. Yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks nice. Yeah. As long as you get them clean regularly, you'll see a lot more life out of the, the bracelets. One second. I forgot one thing. So whenever we clean Submariner bracelets on the, the Glide Lock class, that's what it's called. I couldn't remember earlier. How it has those two channels. Get a little bit of Fomlin, which is a grease we use in those channels. And run it through and it keeps it from binding up it doesn't take a lot just like any grease all right we're not coming off again for another year there you go <laughs> just so people know that's if you own a rolex mm -hmm. you can take it to any ad should, yeah, anywhere should, they any should AD should be able to do that okay I can't see why they wouldn't okay but of course like i said normally we take a little bit longer y'all's are especially clean but and that's a service they provide at no charge for people. Should right? be no charge, as okay. far as I understand. Well, right on, man. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. I really appreciate you going through the effort. Of course. 
letting us film the whole thing and yeah, walking course. us through it's it. It's always it's fun. Very educational, very interesting. I try my best. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. But yeah, if you want to see the, um, the deep sea, I think we have one out there. Nice and clean. All right on. Awesome. I thank you again. Of course. <laughs> always a pleasure. Uh, if we were to get the palm in, would you be... Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you would be okay with that? Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed. What, the that. first one? Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. I told you my dream, too, right? You got mine written down there, or did I not tell you? Your dream? Yeah. Wait, I've got you. I've got another one in the... Um, did, you did you say something? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. that's right. in there. Right on. We haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see one soon. Good yeah, seeing you as usual. You too. Thank you, Robin. You too. Good Great seeing you. Mr. Pav. Yeah, man. We'll Thank see you, you next year. Good to see you. We appreciate all Good the hospitality yeah. and welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All righty. <laughs> what? Don't find Nothing. Oh, Nothing. Oh, I don't want, I, if, no. I, if I'm not supposed to know, I don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks for the donuts. I already had one, actually. Right on. Right cool. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thanks. Well, all right, guys, good little visit here at Pav and Broom. Got the rolly cleaned. Really nice people, really wonderful folks. Like I said, no affiliation with them whatsoever. Like, they don't pay us to come in here and do this. We have no arrangement with them. We get nothing for free except the watch cleaning, which anybody would get for free. Um, but in all seriousness, if you uh, have any interest in any jewelry and you're in the Gulfport, Biloxi area, come in and see these folks. They'll treat you like family. All right, guys, on to the next stop. We'll top in the truck. All right, guys, so we're at the Gulfport Post Office, and we're going to go inside and get some money orders for something we have to do next. So stay tuned. Thank you, sir. Yeah, what was it supposed to it be? It's got to be separate things, too, right? Sorry? Those cameras or thermometers? Thermometers. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> See, she even got the joke. You were spy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yep. 98.6. To check. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Kathy? So I need three money orders, okay, and they're all going to be for the same amount: okay. two thirty-nine fifty-three. Two thirty-nine fifty-three. Yes, ma'am. Three times. Yep, and I can pay for those with a debit card, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two, No stamps, envelopes, nothing else. Uh, no, man, that's it. Seven twenty-four eighty-nine. My husband has one of those things. Same camera? Huh? Same one? I thought it was a temperature. No? Oh, no, it's a camera. Oh. I was just kidding with that guy. He said to me, he's a... Oh. Thermometer one of those or camera. Guns that shoot the temperature. Oh, I have one of those. Yeah, it's a FLIR probably. It's, a, it's yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah. So where are y'all from? That yellow film in South Dakota. South Dakota. Yes, ma'am. Sure, that's a big winter up there. Oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> we, get, we get a lot of snowbirds. We call them. Well, I heard it's been a little cooler here than usual. Yeah. Right, today's we to nice. Pull out our big coats. Yeah. Dust them off, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Why, thank you, Kathy. That you have a wonderful day. day. All right, guys, money orders in hand. Now it's time to go to the next stop and spend them. So uh, let's take a ride. All right, guys, so we are at the Harrison County Courthouse, and we're going to go inside and apply for some passports and uh, take you along for the ride. How are you doing, sir? Hey. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. You got the supervisor, sheriff's office, tax collector. Oh, that's what it is. It's the chancery clerk. 
That's the one we're looking for. After you, Mr. Washman. After you, ma'am. Excuse me, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Do you have the applications filled yes, out? Yes, we do. You have a check or money order to we submit? We do. Yes, ma'am. How you doing today? Doing well. All right. All right, one at a time. These have to be filled out. You need to fill out the from and the address on all of those. Okay, and a picture ID. Your original documents do go with your application. They do mail them separately back to you. You're going to receive your passport information first. And then about a week to 10 days later, you'll receive your supporting documents. I'm going to give you an oath. If you agree with the things stated in the oath, then you're going to sign your legal signature here on this top line. Okay. Do you swear the information on the application is true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. And that the photo is a true likeness of you? Yes. All right. You're signing here on that top line. We're good. We do not need the social security. That's my original card. Hey. <laughs> I, mean, I still old. have my original, but of course it's been replaced with one since my name changed getting married, but there you go. I do. Still my got the first one. hung on to it for me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You swear the information on the application is true and correct to the best of your knowledge and that the photo is a true likeness of you. Yes. Agreeing upon that, sign on that top line. Two down, one to go? Yes. Not too bad, not too bad. A lot of folks come in unprepared? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all Let me just leave it at that, all of the above. All right, let's see what we've got here. We travel full time in an RV. Okay. Documenting it all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so same for you. We're going to come over. You swear the information on the application is true and correct to the best of your knowledge yes. and that the photo is a true likeness of you. Yes. All right, you're signing there on that top line. Well, I want to thank you for the wonderful courteous service before I forget to say that. Not a problem. Service with a smile. Well, when everything's together and organized, it makes it so much smoother. Yeah. Very smooth transaction. All right, so we're gonna a lot of people didn't get that memo, <laughs> <All right. laughs> and we'll just leave it at that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's your last name, Thrash? No, that's that's the boss lady's last name. <laughs> oh, that's I was gonna say that's a cool last name. Yes, that is our chancery clerk. That's her last name. Don't cross her, man. She'll thrash you. <laughs> <laughs> you just right. do it. Does anybody ever say you just got thrashed? You just know. <laughs> I heard that one. You got to start that she one. Just took, she just took office in January, so I'm sure it'll it'll come around yeah, somewhere. Yeah. She hasn't got a chance to thrash anybody right. yet. Right, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Any other thing that I can No, that's it. With? I'm sorry. What was your first name? Bridget. Bridget, thank you very much again for the help. We appreciate you. No problem. You. Have Enjoy a wonderful day. Enjoy time down here. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Well, Bridget was nice, huh? That was cool. Have a good day, gentlemen. Thank you. Marriage licenses. What did you guys just do? <laughs> All right, guys. Um, passports are applied for. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs>